I know I didn't announce this, I know I didn't post this, and I know I didn't promote this live, but I couldn't wait. I couldn't help myself. I think it's time to reveal my new yak, my new kayak that has arrived, and uh, very stoked, very happy um, on it. I already kind of like built it up, put it in a... Uh, way where I'm gonna be ready to go on the water soon and test this bad boy out but I have just thrilled to show you guys hopefully I can get some guys on here and uh, we're gonna get this going I'm gonna show you the kayak I got many some of you already know um, some of you don't uh, for those of you who don't pretty much and who don't know I uh, I made the, the conscious decision to uh, sell out my my uh, Titan 12 um, based on a couple of reasons, but one of the biggest reasons was because it was a huge vessel. Very great platform, very good kayak. I have nothing really bad to say about it, but just the fact that I was just tired of the weight. For you uh, tournament anglers, I definitely would recommend the Titan and uh, any boat that's big like that. It's going to get you out in the water, make you feel very comfortable, very stable, and get you prepared for tournament angling. I would definitely point native way. But... I decided to do a little change here in Tackle Fishing Adventures and also for my channel and for my future I went on and got something completely different if you guys are not here live you guys will see the video but uh, I think I'm ready to go I'm not gonna wait on anybody else it is Saturday I know it's the weekend and um, let's get this going so guys I decided to go with I'll tell you right now I'm gonna walk up to the kayak right now I got it set up here I don't know if you guys can see it, but if you guys can guess that now, comment below. I got Mario on. What's up, Mario? Um, try to get a little bit more people in here. But yeah, I uh, made the decision on switching my kayak. Um, very happy with what I did. My decision was, was perfect, right on the dime, exactly what I wanted. Um, maybe a little bit heavier than what I wanted, but enough where... I'm not going to be hassling and, and going crazy over, over weight, but um, it, this really does br bring back memories from my old Bonafide SS127. It has that kind of same vibe, it has that same uh, haul, uh, pretty much, I mean I think so. Um, it's a little beefier than the Bonafide uh, SS127, but again like I said, I'm, I'm just excited that I'm going to be able to test this guy out. Um, out in the water um, as soon as I can but this is it guys this is it I don't know, let me let me actually let me let me switch the camera there we go perfect all right sorry about it guys I had to do this on my garage but there it is there you go I decided to go with the recon 120 HD I had to have my pedal drive I got the helix drive there all set up I assembled that last night um, well there you go wilderness systems uh, came out with this boat about a year or about a year and a half ago I might be wrong so if, if, if you guys know the actual date leave a comment below but uh, there it is the recon 120 HD so again I made a decision to move on do something different and that's what I'm doing here I don't think I made a, a, a terrible decision I mean these guys are OGs of the industry so I really didn't, I wasn't nervous. I wasn't, you know, distraught about my decision. I never been on one of these, never been on a wilderness systems, but I think, I think this is going to be the boat that's going to make me a little happy about, join, about you know, pretty much uh, going with, with the recon is these guys always make good boats. They've always made good boats. A lot of people that I know of, a lot of people in the industry have come from these boats, so they know very much. The drive, I'm not too, uh, I'm going to say it straight up here now. I'm going to actually do a video on all this and all my opinions on this. The drive seems very smooth. The drive seems very um, evolutionary in the sense that it has some stuff that other pedal drives don't have. But there's 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 pros and cons to all this boat. But that, that's one of the pros and cons that I'm going to be talking about uh, real soon, hopefully in my videos. So guys, stay tuned to my to Tackle Fishing Adventures. And if you guys continue following me up, you guys are going to know a little bit more about this boat. But my goal was to get a boat that had a good platform, 
that had good width, stable, a little less weight than the Titan. So I went with the Recon 120 HD. Guys, I'm just excited. I'm excited. I know I kept this kind of like a, a secret for the past couple weeks or so, but I wanted to do it for the hype. <laughs> but anyway, I'm excited. I'm ready to get this bad boy out there and test it out. So thank you guys, whoever was live and uh, was able to uh, watch this live. I want to thank you guys. And for those of you who are going to be watching this later on, wish you guys an awesome fall. Uh, and also the championship, KBF, all those guys who were able to go over there to Louisiana, to Shreveport, Shreveport and uh, battle it out for the checks and for the recognition and for the just all out thrill of competing with all, all these wonderful anglers. I want to give a congrats to everyone and congrats to the first place winner of that event. So peace out guys, tight lines. Hopefully you guys can follow me up on my, on my YouTube because I'm going to be giving out some videos of the Recon 120 HD.